G'day everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum. We are now on day 17 of Autumn, and I've kind of forgotten how many episodes we're on right now. I think we might be on episode 45. But uh, anyway, it does sound like a very rainy day outside. Let's uh, maybe uh, change our clothing a little bit here. Something that might suit the day a little bit more. Something like that. Put all of these away. And we will get started with the day. Now, uh, yesterday we actually spent a bit of time in the deep mines and um, we actually managed to get quite a lot of iron uh, in preparation for all of the crafting that we are thinking of doing today. Now, this is a bit of a blessing in disguise because uh, obviously, you know, we don't really have to water the plants today, although we do need to quickly harvest our corn. Very nice. Uh, okay, let's start with the mail. Collect our rewards from the Animal Research Center. And might as well um, Set up the trap as well. Okay, very good. Righto, so let's jump on the uh, motorcycle and uh, see if we can head out to John. Actually, sorry, almost forgot. We do have eggs together uh, and oh, we do need to feed uh, these two. I only see one egg. Uh, there's no other egg? Hmm, strange. Usually there'd be two. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can get the feed out. Oh, okay, yeah. We may have run out of feed at this point, haven't we? Okay, that's fertilizer. Punch that together. Um, yeah, I'm really worried about Choco and Mog because uh, we don't have any more animal feed to give these two. And uh, I'm not sure if Erwin might be in town, but yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, so this corn, we'll probably bring it into town and just store it there. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so we do have a visitor. Unfortunately, it is not Erwin. Uh, I think that is Sally. Um, hmm. Getting really worried about our animals. Let's put that there. We might start keeping the honey. Um, we'll grind up this shiny stone. Uh, we've got an opal from our exploration in the deep mines last time. Uh, I'm not really sure if there's anything we can do with that or whether or not it's just something that we can sell. Hmm, yet to find out. But I reckon we'll start off with maybe selling it to John, seeing how much money we can actually make from that. Uh, hmm. Got quite a bit of copper ore. Maybe we can just start smelting some of that. And yeah, we have a lot of iron ores as well. And we definitely need some iron bars to craft a few of the things that we said that we were going to craft. So uh, we might actually spend quite a lot of time today preparing everything. Uh, let's have a chat with John. Sell anything we don't need. 
Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? We'll sell him that. We'll sell him the opal. Um, we'll sell him the pieces of junk. We probably want to keep the old contraption uh, just in case we need that. Um, and I think we need some hot cylinders as well. I want to check out. Ooh, 25,000, that's not bad. Yeah, I was just going to say, I want to check out the tower that needs repairing and seeing whether or not we can make a start with that. Uh, wow, another Alpha Croco and a Moo Capture reward. Hmm. Well, we do know how to capture those Moo now, so we'll probably get to that. And we've got another Alpha Croco, so not bad in terms of income. Just want to quickly put the disc away. Let's bring the bright wire and the green boards and we'll put the old contraption away. Uh, we may need some old wheels and we may need some gears as well. Okay. Um, continue to smelt stuff and grind stuff. And yeah, let's take the bike out to the tower and see what's going on there. I think it's, yeah, just around here. Yeah, I didn't really think much about this tower. I know there was another tower that we saw um, somewhere else, uh, but I had always assumed that this tower was just part of the the landing platform that the airship comes into. Okay, so place that. Ah, we do need a shiny disc actually. <laughs> um, I have a feeling we may have one smooth slate, so I might go back and see if we can grab that. And we didn't really need any of the gears or the wheels. That's okay. We can uh, come back and uh, deal with that. Do we not have a bug net? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. We put the bug net away before we went to the mines yesterday. things away and let's grab the bug net because we do need that. Uh, we'll grab the fishing rod as well. Um, let's put the egg in here. And uh, let's see. Let's grind some more shiny stone. Okay, looking good. Alright, let's speak to people and see if they need anything. Hello there, Blue. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see if you need anything. Ah, actually, I have a holiday shorts I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? I could let it go for 2289 Absolutely. Easy to wear. Let's check that out very quickly. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. Uh, looks like a pair of shorts that would be good for, you know, going to the beach or something. Uh, it is a bit of a rainy and cold looking day, so we might keep the sweatpants on for now. We'll take that home with us. Um, it's already 11. Let's chat to Rain, see if she needs anything. Oh, hey. How can I help? What do you want to chat about? Do you need anything? 
Oh wow, I notice you've got holiday shorts on you. I would like to buy holiday shorts you are carrying. How does 1064 dink sound? Um, well, that's sort of half price from what we bought it for, so... But you know what? For the sake of our relationship... Sure, you can have it. Yep, and it's gone from the inventory, so... That's alright. Um, saves us a trip uh, from uh, having to bring it back home. Okay. Um, maybe let's have a chat with Sally. We do actually have enough money for a haircut today if we wanted to get one, so... Welcome! Can I interest you in a little trim? Sure. Please take a seat. Um. Okay, what can I do with your do today? A haircut or a colour change is 5,000 dink. Let's take a look at the hairstyles. Hmm... I'm not sure, guys. Uh, is this what we currently have? Ah, this is what we currently have. Hmm... I am gonna stick on the semi-conservative side, guys. <laughs> I reckon this is not too bad, so let's... Let's go with that. Um... Yeah, looking, looking pretty fresh. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, not a bad look. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Let's chat. Do you need anything? Ah, actually, I have a skull mask. I don't want any more. A skull mask. Eighteen thousand. All right. Uh, let's take a look at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, looking pretty terrifying, actually. <laughs> if you think about it. Um, but yeah. Uh, we might keep that for Halloween or something like that. Uh, I don't even know if they've got such a thing in the game. Who knows? We'll keep it for an appropriate time. Um, so we've smelted a lot of the copper ore. We'll probably keep going with the tin ores. Um, yeah, we are quite busy, aren't we? Um, there's a lot of things to get done here. Uh, grinding wheat, smelting ores, grinding stones. Um, speaking of, maybe it might be a good idea to make some cement as well. Never know when we might be in need of some cement. Uh, now, who else haven't we spoken to about getting stuff done? Maybe John. Hey, mate. Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? Do we have anything to sell? Mm, not really. Let's chat. Do you have a job for me? Mm, you know what? I feel like I've been wearing the same clothes for too long. I think you can find me some new clothing. Anything new in my wardrobe would be awesome. No problems. And we'll probably grab like one of the dresses or something like that from home and give it to John. But uh, we might get to that a little bit later. Let's have a chat with Theo. Hey Theo. Welcome to the museum. What can I do for you? Oh, what did you want to chat about? Do you have a job for me? 
Hey, would it be too much trouble for you to catch a Scarlet Jezebel butterfly? You can usually catch them in the bushlands this time of year. No problems. Alright. Um, let's just chuck another batch in. going. Alright. Uh, let's put that away. Grab the motorcycle. We'll uh, do a little bit of bug catching and hopefully we'll find the Scarlet Jezebel that um, Theo needs. And yeah, um, I'm hoping maybe we'll be able to come back to John and sell some stuff today as well. Dresses. Yep, can grab one of those. Actually, while we're here, put the skull mask back. Um, yeah, okay. Happy with that. Ooh, these might be what we're looking for, right? So, let's just quickly. Nice. Okay, that was very easy. Okay. Now, maybe it might be a good idea to do a bit of fishing. That might give us a little bit of income. Um, or, alternatively, we could possibly do some... Um, some treasure hunting. Yeah, these rainy days always seem to be uh, not the greatest days for fishing, it seems. Uh, let's put the hammer away. There we go. Come on. Oh, got a little excited. see like at least a couple more fish nearby. May have moved off a little bit. Okay, I think they're gone. Maybe just need to move a little bit more. Come on. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Uh, I'm also hoping that we might be able to find stuff in the in the river, like down on the the ocean floor or the river floor. And see if we can dive and catch anything there. Just need to be careful of those crocs over there. Ooh, and um, I forgot, but. Uh, we also have the Alpha Croc. Oh, okay. The Alpha Croc's in a different spot this time around. Haven't seen that before. I can certainly appreciate him not being so close in, uh, so, so close to the town, actually. more.
Very good. I don't see anything worth diving for today. Maybe it's also a little bit harder to spot with uh, all this rain happening as well. Yeah, I see a pretty big looking fish over that side. Here we go. Actually, it is very close to six. So, better go and um, see John immediately after this. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, sell all of this off to John and go back and fetch the bike. Hey mate. Welcome to John's Goods, how can I help? Want to sell you all of our fish. Uh, oh yeah, and we've got the dress for you as well. Uh, are we happy with that? I think so. 12,000. Not bad. Oh, sorry. Misclicked, guys. Here you go. Now, what did we get? Oh, just money. Okay. Alright, so... Now that that's done... Let's, uh, go back and grab the bike. And from here, I'm not entirely sure what we should get up to, guys. Maybe we should think about doing the crafting that we keep saying that we will do. Uh, the problem is, I'm not entirely sure where we're going to keep that animal stall. Um, but I do, you know, obviously want to keep it sort of semi-close to the house. Um, maybe we'll just start with crafting it first. And seeing how we go from there. Yeah, and uh, I think the other day I also mentioned how it might be a good idea to also clear the path for the motorcycle, so we could probably spend time doing that as well. Hey, Rain. Oh, blue. I, like, have a gift for you. It's my plant book. I've been adding information to it, like, my whole life. You could probably use it to get some information on any plants you're growing. Oh, don't worry about me. I think you'll, like, get more use out of it, to be honest. Anyway, I've got all the info up here. Plant book. A book that can identify and track plant growth. Nice. Um, what? So that's in the inventory. Um, so. <laughs> okay. Another one of these things. I mean, what does that mean? Does that just mean that it expands the Pedia or something? Or... I really have no idea what books are for, guys. Um, if any of you guys are playing Dinkum or, you know, uh, have been following the game quite a bit and uh, you know what to do with the books, 
uh, because I think we also have another book about machines or whatever. Yeah, if, if you know anything about it, leave a comment or two down below and, uh, you know, I'll have a read and hopefully I can uh, get a better understanding of what to do with those things. But anyway, let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing here, which is crafting that animal stall. Here it is. So let's track that. So we're going to need nails, tin sheets, hardwood planks, spin effects and iron bars. So the spin effects might be a bit of a problem as well. I'm not sure if we've got just spin effects. We may have the resins. Um, yeah, see, we've got resins, but not actual spin effects itself. Hmm. Ooh. We do need one of these, right? Uh, smooth slate. So. So we're probably going to go, have to go out and um, see if we can fetch some stuff. Um, spin effects, we probably need some more hardwood logs to be honest, possibly. Yeah, darn. We'll get to that. Uh, where's the bike? Okay, here it is. Let's maybe drive to the... Actually, we could probably complete two birds with one stone here. We can clear out some of these trees. And these should give us some hardwood logs, right? Yeah, I do want to replant some of these trees though. Very good. Um, this one can go. Ooh, and we've got a, a beehive here. If I can bloody pick it up. <laughs> uh. mm. Okay. Can we just put it on the back? Okay, yeah. That's exactly what I want to do. <laughs> let's uh let's not grab the stuff inside it just yet. Um because, who knows, we might need a little bit of inventory space. Uh, Spinifex Tufts. I think that's like, what, in the desert sort of areas? Like this? Ooh! No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh man, okay, that's like, what, quarter of the durability? Jeez. Okay, I need to be a lot more careful with that bike. Now, I don't really like Franklin uh, at the start of this playthrough, but uh, considering he's, you know, the person who's going to be constructing most of our vehicles, um, you know, maybe he can, maybe he can come and join us here on Wu Yan. I'll allow it. <laughs> Uh, that's if we can convince him to actually move in. Um, not entirely sure who the fifth person's going to be. Uh, but I'm, I'm really hoping that Erwin will decide to move in shortly. There we go, here's some more. I think we probably have enough. Just getting a little hungry now. So grab those Kwandongs. 
Nice. And I think with this one, we should be done. Alright. Let's go back home. Yeah, haven't really done anything about the Alpha Croc today, but um, that can wait. We'll probably do that tomorrow or even the day after. For now, uh, I really just want to get that animal stall done. And yeah, hopefully with it being constructed, Erwin will actually let us buy one of those Vombats. have everything we need? No, we need hardwood planks. So let's cut some up now. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I think we've got everything we need guys, so um, let's do this. Very good. So where is that? Okay, so we just need to place it down, like usual, so we'll do that shortly. Um, we still have, yeah, we've got plenty of inventory space, so... Um, nice. Let's chuck that down, bust this open, and grab that. And where's the other one? Here. Okay, just a couple of bees. That's okay. Um, we can sell those bees to John tomorrow morning. Uh, what happened to our iron ores? Ah, here. Get that going. I uh, just want to put stuff away. Um, and these bloody books. I don't know what to do with, with them just yet, but we'll hang on to it. Maybe put it back at home. Uh, and the shovel. Yes, we'll probably need that shortly. Oh, actually, we've still got the other shovel. All right. So I think we're going to need to spend some time clearing some land for this animal stall. Um, yeah. I'm thinking maybe around here, guys. Um, but let's just have a quick look at how large this thing is. Ooh, wow, it is quite a big structure, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm having other thoughts here, guys, so maybe what we could do is we probably don't need to clear the land so much, but we do need to fence off the, the stall. Uh, otherwise, you know, wild animals might be able to attack whatever we keep here. So, um, yeah, that might be uh, the way we approach it. Uh, it is actually very late now, so we might not get too far with what we want to do, but let's see. Yeah, I'm almost passing out right now. Uh, any food? Yeah, we've got a piece of meat here. Okay, that's good. Okay. Very good, very good. Let's 
grab all of that. Uh, anything else we can eat? We'll probably have one of the meat on a stick. Okay, so let's at least place this down and I think we might call it a day. There we go. Alright. It is a, a little bit further away from the house, but you know, it's not that far. Um, yeah, I, I think I like the placement. I mean, if we need to move anything, we can always move stuff around. We might need to play around with the placement of some soil, um, just so that we can surround, uh, surround this area with some fencing, but, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll deal with that tomorrow. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, I feel like we haven't really done too much today, but uh, at the very least, we got that animal stall constructed. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.